I'll be honest with you. Facebook and catalog parties are cool, but I love nothing more than a traditional home party. I wanna take a couple of minutes and share with you a few tips that I have found make my home parties a little more successful. First of all, I mail personal invitations to the hostess's guest list. After we solidify a party date, I ask her to send me her guest list with addresses within 48 hours. I send out these postcard invitations that they can hang on their refrigerator, and so they're always reminded of when the party will be held. This um, usually will pre also prevent the hostess from canceling the party because all of her friends already have hard invitations in hand that are hanging on their refrigerator doors. Number two, the ticket game. I first introduce the ticket game whenever I send the personal invitations. I suggest ways that they can earn tickets such as coming to the party, RSVPing to the party, bringing a friend over 18 years of age, and wearing a monogram. And then at the actual party, I also give tickets for purchasing, for completing the wish list, and also um, for things like booking a party. This makes the party a little more engaging and helps them to participate a little more. The third thing I do is the lap board presentation. I have never used the lap boards until about a year after I um, started my initial outfitters business and I don't know how I ever lived without it. When I first get to the party and we start, I'll give my introduction and tell them about myself and what I love about initial outfitters and what it's done for my family. This provides the perfect segue into my catalog tour. I direct them to the back of the lap board, which has the sign on bonus, and let them know that if anything I said has resonated with them, or if they would like to learn more about making a little extra income on the side, or even a full-time income, then they can reach out to me and also check out the sign on bonus. When I flip the board over, I show them my business card and invite them to take one with them when they leave the party. On the inside of the book, I have three things. The first thing is the wish list, and as I mentioned earlier, I give tickets for completing the wish list. But I tell them that the wish list is not an order form, but it's simply something to make it a little easier as they're shopping the catalog. Since we have 95 pages of goodness, there's a lot of things that they're going to want and they're going to um, want to put on their wish list, so this just makes it easier when we check out. The second thing is the customer specials. I'll point these out and I'll just mention them, and then I just move right along to the catalog tour. After I do the tour of the catalog, my um, fourth suggestion is just not to stand at your table. If you go shopping at a retail store or shopping for a car, it's very awkward when the salesperson just follows you around and looks at you. I don't want to do this at my parties either. So I take the opportunity while they're shopping and eating to just walk around the room and build relationships. I start asking them questions about themselves and um, normally we'll build the basis of a friendship. I also will pay attention to what they have on their wish list. So if they write down um, that they like the Carpe Diem necklace, I'll just comment and say, you know, that's one of my favorite pieces. Please allow me to show you a few things that I like to wear with that look. And then I'll continue to point out a pair of earrings, an arm party, maybe a layering necklace, um, and a handbag just to complete the look. Normally this will result in them buying a little more than just the Carpe Diem necklace that they originally had on their list. And then the other thing is the customer specials. A lot of times they'll take it out of their board book, they'll look at it, and then they'll set it down. Then they'll walk across the room and they'll get something to eat, they'll come to my table, and by the time they come to check out, they've completely forgotten about the customer specials. So we'll, whenever they go to check out, I always will mention, you know, hey, you qualify for the customer special, um, would you like to take advantage of this? This is a really great deal. Or if they don't quite qualify but they're close, then I'll take that opportunity to say, hey, you're only $10, $10 away from qualifying for the customer special. Do you want me to show you a pair of earrings that will um, get you to the next, the next level? And normally that will help me to sell more um, in my customer specials and upselling through showing them different looks, increasing my party sales. I hope that these tips help you as much as they've helped me.